date functions in Google Sheets allow you to get specific dates and mostly track time in a spreadsheet in a dynamic way. So the example that we're going to use here is this home and auto maintenance uh, workbook that I have. Um, it basically, uh, to kind of give you just a summary of what it is, we've got a list of maintenance um, components on a vehicle and how often those things need to be done. And then we have the vehicles listed up here at the top. So the, to look at this spreadsheet at a glance and to get an idea of what maintenance things need to be updated, you may want something more than just a date. Um, just because with every single one of these components being different, you know, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, um, it might be kind of tricky, um, whereas if we, if we, if you're just looking at a date, you know, whereas if we had something a little more specific, um, it, it might make it a little bit easier to look at. Um, there's three functions that we're going to talk about. The first one is the today function. The second one is the days function. And the third one is the e-date function. Okay. Now, uh, the... The first one today is a really simple function. Really, it's just today with two uh, open and close parentheses. There's absolutely nothing in it. What it gives you is whatever the current date is. And this will update dynamically because we haven't actually typed. You notice up here, we haven't actually typed the data in, right? We have a function. So this is going to recalculate every time we open the spreadsheet. And um, Every time we open the spreadsheet, it's going to change. So tomorrow when I open this up, it's going to say 9.4. And then a week from now, it'll say 9.10. Nine, um, and so it just updates automatically. Now, in conjunction with the days function, this today function could be really helpful. So let me show you exactly what I'm going to do with this. So over here, we, have, we checked the tire pressure apparently a couple days ago. But if I hit equal days... I have two components within this function, the end date and the start date. And it's going to tell me how many um, days are in between that end date and the start date. So uh, in this example, I should get two um, if I'm going from today's date, right? So if I'm going from today's date to whatever day the tire, uh, tire pressure was checked, it should be two. So my end date is going to be today, comma, and then my start date, close parentheses, and I get two. Now, if you set this, uh, I'm going to th just throw some uh, dollar signs in here to my uh, D2 just to make that absolute. If you're not familiar with what an absolute reference is, um, you'll want to look that up because that's something that's important here. But if I paste this formula down here, notice that's two days. This is uh, also this was also done September 1st. But if I use it on these other examples down here, you can see it counts as to how far away certain tasks were completed. So I could easily look and say, okay, um, you know, this it replaced the air filter that was done 60 days ago. I checked the brake pressure 16 days ago. Then I vacuumed and cleaned the vehicle two days ago. You know, so you can get at a quick glance how that works. Now, another way, uh, another way we could track this really easily, kind of at a glance, is the e-date function. Now, this isn't ideal for this example, but it is for some of these, like, for example, the monthly. Um, if I come in over here, and let me make sure I don't think my uh, font or my text is large. I want to make sure it's big enough. Um, so if I come in here and use the e-date function, you type equal and type e-date. This tells me how many months before or after um, or, or uh, well, the best way to explain is kind of go through this. So we will plug in a start date, which will be our maintenance date. And then we tell it to tell us how many months after that we want to measure. So if I say the start date's here and hit comma, and we want to go one month because this is a monthly action, it will give me the date that is one month out. Boy, I had a tough time explaining that for some reason. So um, same thing, if I come down here, Paste this, it's going to give me again date one month out. But with quarterly, I would want to change this to three, right? So it tells me basically it's going to tell me what day I need to make sure that maintenance happens on it or make sure we do the same thing. So if I inspected the brakes for wear on August 18th, I'll need to make sure inspect the brakes on November 18th if I want to do that quarterly. 